Okay, I've got this Remington Model 12 22 pump action rifle. Making a video here. Get in the light here better. This one was probably made in about 1912 to 1915 because the serial number is what 200,000 range 206 367 it has the this pin here for taking it down it has the screw comes apart okay I'm gonna show the when it's empty this locks back the action locks back when it's empty I'm sure that's the way it's supposed to function and if you pull the uh, magazine tube out a little bit that frees up the action and you can pump it and I'm gonna show the trigger works See that spring back. I'll leave the action open a little bit like that. So everything's functioning fine on it, but the barrel's pretty shot. And it looks like someone tried to change the barrel at one time. Put a pipe wrench or something on here. So the extractor works good. I'm gonna drop a cartridge in here. So I've got a 22 long rifle cartridge in there. Going to close up the action. And you can see the cart the uh, extractor grabbed it already. And I'm just gonna flick it out of it. Okay, I'm gonna close up here of the elevator. See it there? It works properly. That lifts the cartridge up to the chamber. And there's supposed to be a cartridge stop and kind of a guide to re retainer that holds the spring finger that goes on top and guides the cartridge into the chamber that's missing. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna break the gun down. It's a takedown model. So all you have to do is unscrew this screw here. And it comes apart that easy. And everything is here, all these parts. Got your elevator, your hammer. There's this hammer spring there. This is a ejector spring. Pushes on the firing pin when you open the action, uh, pushes on the firing pin and injects, pushes the cartridge off of the uh, extractor. And there's some more serial numbers in there. So we have all these parts. We got the trigger, the safety works. That's all those parts are in there. And then to further break down on here. What you do is you push on this little button here. Well, first you actually have to uh, take the forearm screws out. And slide your forearm forward a little bit. Then what you do to get the uh, breech bolt out Zoom this in a little bit. 
push on this pin right here. So that keeps it from, keeps the uh, action from sliding back. So you push on that pin and you tip it upside down so the breech block doesn't get caught up in there. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get it out. That has to be all the way back too. There you go. See this part here gets caught on the upper receiver, upper part of the receiver. So this is your this is your breech block. Seems to be functioning just fine. I knocked those pins out to uh, get the firing pin out because I was going to order a firing pin and fix this gun up. But after seeing the bore, it's, it's probably not worth fixing. So that's your breech block. And it has the uh, extractor still on it. And the plunger and spring are all in there. This looks like somebody may have filed on it a little bit there. But <clears throat> seems to function in the gun just fine. And this is how you basically finish disassembling. Here's your magazine tube and not sure exactly what this part is called. But basically what it, how it fits inside the gun like this. When it's in the receiver, that slides back and forth. This grabs onto the elevator 